Greetings, ladies and gents. I'm Aztec, and today I've got a little something special for you. Yes, today we're going to have some gaming tech blood sports, a showdown between bitter rivals. In the red corner, hailing from Radeon land, we have the RX 588 GB. And in the green corner, the reigning champ, king of the mid-range, the NVIDIA GTX 1060 6GB. I'll be testing both cards across 5 synthetic benchmarks and 16 games. Not every game in this lineup is brand spanking new, some date back to 2015, but I've tried not to use any games any older than that. Both cards have been overclocked to the hilt, fan noise be damned. On the 1060, I've managed to achieve a core clock of 2100MHz and added about 200MHz on the memory, and for the RX 580, I managed to hit 1425MHz on the core and added 225MHz to the memory. Both cards are being tested in my Ryzen system with the Ryzen 7 1700 overclocked to 3.85 GHz with 16 gigs of 300 MHz DDR4 memory and a Seagate Fire CUDA hybrid drive for storage. Now that all of that's out of the way, let's get this grudge match underway. Oh, 
Well, there you have it. It was a hard-fought battle. Each card had their fair share of victories, but who took home the gold? Let's take a look at the averages and minimums across all 16 games. It seems that even the finest of wine technology couldn't close the gap between the 1060 and the 580. Don't get me wrong though, the 580 is still a great performing card for 1080p, but if you're just looking for the absolute best performance, like for, for this kind of price range, for the mid-range GPU, then you should probably just go with the GTX 1060. If you have the money, that is. Because currently, I can't recommend anybody go out and pick up either of these cards. The crypto boom is still going strong, as is the RAM shortage, so prices are massively inflated. Anywho, that does it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.